Hello, my beautiful Librans. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, uh, so we have one card here. It says love calls. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Hmm, so this is coming out in a no communication spread. So this person could be reaching out to you, okay? Or maybe they already have by the time you're watching my reading here, but it is someone who wants to break the silence, okay? Because it says thinking of you and letting you know. So this could obviously be in the form of a phone call, possibly a text message. Let's see what Tarot has to uh, say here. Okay, guys, so we have the Death card on the bottom of the deck. So some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio. Split the deck and we have the Nine of Cups. Well, this is interesting. Your person could view you as someone who is doing better after a separation or after an ending, like better off without them kind of energy. Because nine of cups is when you're emotionally fulfilled, but you're fulfilled on your own, where like people are a bonus in your life. So they could feel like, you know, you're taking care of yourself. You're doing the things that you enjoy. Um, and with the uh, death card here, they could also feel like you have made a shift in your life here or you have, a, you know, it's like when you've uh, undergone some sort of a transformation. So let's see if these cards come out again. Nine of Cups could also be overindulging. Okay, so someone here could be, you know, overindulging. Um, they could be feeling very like that's like their coping mechanism if they're, uh, you know, based off of the uh, separation here. Or that's their way of dealing with a separation. That's only for some of you. Okay, so let's see here. So we have the uh, Ace of Swords and then we also have the Two of Pentacles. So there's something they want to be honest about and they're thinking about how to word it. Makes sense because you guys have love call here as the uh, oracle message as well. Yeah. Libra, this could be someone who like, for example, if they have a particular truth, they're like, do I say it like this or do I say it like that? Could even be an energy of how do I bring up you know, a conversation? How do I initiate a conversation where I'm revealing something that I have been uh, keeping away from Libra? Because with the uh, two of pentacles here, they're going back and forth, like which option's more realistic, which option seems more believable, that sort of thing. Bottom of the deck here, we do have the knight of wands. Behind that, the ace of wands and the lovers. There's this connection is something they cannot deny Libra. They feel like a very strong pull towards you. This is someone who finds you to be very irresistible, very beautiful. Like the lovers could be when you're so attracted to someone, but you can't really put your finger on why. Or like even if something occurs between the both of you, they always feel drawn to you. They always feel like, you know, I can't not speak to Libra. I have to reach out to them. This person's having a very hard time finding the urge to speak to you. I'll say that much. And with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands, um, they're also feeling very passionate. Okay, so you guys can read in between the lines of that. I do have all ages watching my channel here. But I feel like there is this desire to be in your company, to, you know, feel your affection again, that sort of thing. And with the Knight of Wands as well as the Ace of Wands, some of you find may find that this person came in very hot and heavy. Things happened very quickly, but maybe you feel things ended just as quickly. Because as much as the Knight of Wands could be a lot of excitement, you know, a lot of fun, um, things feeling very lighthearted, very passionate, it, it doesn't mean that that energy will be maintained. It's more so like temporary, temporary excitement. So for some of you, this could have been like a maybe a friends with benefits situation and then the emotion started you know developing here or you guys were just dating each other but maybe didn't expect that the emotions would uh you know be like like you guys would start developing emotions as quickly as you did that could definitely be the case as well five of pentacles yeah they're missing you 
and there's a lot of observing going on because five of pentacles two of pentacles that would be uh the seven of pentacles so seven of pentacles speaks about observing you know analyzing um we have the four of swords on the bottom of the deck with the devil and the king of swords Libra, this person thinks about you a lot, a lot more than you are aware of. Because with the devil, it could be, you know, symbolic for obsessive thinking, someone who feels very attached to you, someone who pretty much can't get you off their mind right now. And with the four of swords, you know, there's three swords here and there's one sword, you know, kind of beside him. And we have the ace of swords. There's something your person wants to tell you, but they're trying to figure out how to tell you or how to go about it. With the uh, devil card, this could be an addiction that they're, you know, going like, you know, kind of working through. It could be the fact that they have been thinking about the situation um, and they don't know what to do. It could also be a tie elsewhere. You know, the devil could be something that's impacting them or their ability to be in a commitment with you. And that could be the very thing they want to communicate. Because it's almost like they're thinking about something and it's affecting them on a mental level, but they feel they would feel better if they were to get it off their chest. Seven of Swords, yeah, wanted to come out with the judgment. This person wants to admit to something, guys. Okay, with the Seven of Swords uh, being clarified by the judgment and the Sun card on the bottom of the deck, you could have either caught this person red-handed, so you caught them in a lie while they were lying to you, um, or you could have specifically asked this person a question while you already knew the answer to it. And then they lied to you again it could have the way you caught this person in a, in a lie or some sort of dishonesty could obviously vary it's a general read but i see that something came to light here where you felt like you had no choice but create a change so for some of you the seven of swords energy is what led to you know a separation here now the judgment card could also be like divine intervention like some of you could view this as okay this separation was much needed in order for me to um you know, view the situation, uh, you know, from a different perspective or see things clearly. Because I see an energy on your end, Libra, of you seeing things much more clearly, like your vision's not so blurry when it comes to what was going on. Um, but while you were in this bond here, it may have been a little bit confusing. So I feel that like when you stepped out of this bond or you became a little bit detached, you were able to like accept the reality of the situation. And there's definitely something that this person was not telling you because with the Ace of Swords, this could be the very thing that they want to be upfront or honest about uh, right now. Okay, guys, um, what is the Ace of Swords? And there's something here about your person either feeling like they had more time or they wish they had more time. Like, I wonder if they wanted to tell you something, but when they were ready to, but instead it came out, uh, you know, in a way that they did not expect it to. Like this person could feel very exposed or like their covers are have been blown, you know, that sort of thing. Um, what is the Ace of Swords? The Star. Wow. Bottom of the deck here, the King of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Three of Swords. This connection is very rare, guys. Like, that's how your person feels. Like, the way that you make them feel is very, you know, different from anything else here. And with the star, they can also view you as a very rare individual in terms of how you, you know, the, the lifestyle that you live, maybe your appearance, the way that you, you know, carry yourself, um, just your perspective or your mindset is very different from theirs. Like you could have, uh, you know, a way of thinking that they're not used to, but with the star, they see how special this connection is. And I think that that's why they want to uh, bring forward some sort of clarity with that ace of swords. It's like, I realize how special Libra is to me. You know, we're not speaking, but I can't forget about them. I feel connected to them and I want to be honest. And I feel like even if something did come to light here, they, they want to explain what was going on. So on your end, you may feel like, okay, there's nothing to explain. You were dishonest with me and I'm upset with you. But it's almost like this person wants to explain why they were dishonest or... Like there's something here that they want to tell you, but I feel like for some of you, you already know what they're about to tell you. Like it's something you figured out on your own. Uh, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius uh, with the star card. What is the two of pentacles?
the three of pentacles yeah how do i how do i uh work on things with libra how do i come together three and two right three of pentacles two of pentacles five of pentacles and that's your next card they feel kind of like left out in the cold they're wanting to come together they're wanting to come to a mutual understanding but they're like i need to be truthful but how do i go about this should I say it this way? Should I say it that way? Better yet, how do I initiate a conversation where I can bring up something of the past um, and, you know, have Libra actually give me the time of day or listen to me? Like they're really cautious about their approach, um, more, more specifically like how they are, like they're trying to figure out how to word something. Uh, what is the five of pentacles? Two of Cups, bottom of the deck here, Six of Swords, Three of Cups, Six of Cups. Yeah, they can't, like there's something here that they can't deny and the something that they can't deny is the emotions that they have for you, the connection that they still feel so deeply. Uh, with the Two of Cups, again guys, that's that could be read as like someone who, uh, you know, like like mutual emotions between the both of you. But with the five of pentacles, it's like no one is really doing anything about the fact that, you know, there's a connection here. Like you could still obviously feel connected to this person, um, you know, considering emotions don't really disappear overnight. But it's like maybe you feel like you want to hold back. You don't really feel comfortable being vulnerable with this person right now. Or better yet, you feel like they're being dishonest with you about something and there's a lack of trust yet. Uh, trust here. Right. So it's like if you don't trust this person or the situation, you're kind of like, how do I converse with someone I currently don't trust? Because the seven of swords is upright, which means many of you believe that this person is, you know, actively hiding something from you or there's something going on behind your back that this person is not, you know, being upfront about. What is the uh, seven of swords in judgment? six of cups they want to reconcile here guys that's what they want they still feel very connected to you but they may feel like you're not you know feeling the same way two of cups means mutual emotions but it's clarifying the five of pentacles which means for many of you even if you still have emotions for this person you feel like you do have emotions for them but you're frustrated with them or there's still some sort of uh like animosity or tension in the air uh what's the star card Okay, let's see. Temperance, yeah. Wanting to make peace with the situation. They view you as someone like, they view this situation, this relationship that you guys have as like a match made in heaven. But what's interesting is they feel like they need to be honest about something. And with the Seven of Swords and the Judgment, um, what's standing out to me is something has already come to light or you have already figured something out about this person that they did not tell you, but they're wanting to add to it or like tell you why they didn't tell you or when they were going to tell you. Like there's some sort of explanation that they want to give to you because they're aware that you perceive them as someone you don't trust. Um, with the temperance, you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but temperance and, uh, you know, the star card, that's someone who wants to make peace with the situation. They feel like things were going or they were running very smoothly, you know, until that seven of swords energy. And it's like, I want this back or I want to go back to what we, you know, I wish we could go back to what we had. Like, and I want to speak to you. I want to explain something to you. They may also feel like they only have one chance to get something right. Uh, what's the three of pentacles? three of swords the hurt that was caused is outweighing the um uh the thoughts of how do we work together does that make sense so it's like when your person thinks about how do i work on this how do i put forth the practical effort they feel like there's a lot of damage that has been done because with the three of swords upright the hurt is still present you know they may feel like you're still hurting from the situation so are they so it's like i want to do something about it but i feel like the damage has been done this is someone who's trying to like reverse the effects of their actions. Like they're dealing with the consequences clearly because they're hurt, but it's like they want a different outcome here. What is the two of cups? Three 
the Hermit. Bottom of the deck, the Eight of Cups. This person may feel like you're walking away in, in silence or you're kind of like keeping to yourself, but you're emotionally detaching because it's almost like they're viewing you as someone that they want to explain something to, but they're viewing you as someone who may not be looking for an explanation. Because again, going back to what I what I what I was saying here, guys, is like this person wants to explain something to you, but you've already figured something out. So it's like you may be in that energy of I already know what I need to know. You know, what's the point of a conversation, or what 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 is this conversation going to change? So you guys are you know there's like a clash in mindsets or the or perspective, like the way that you guys view this situation as of currently. Some of you could be dealing with the Virgo. What is the uh, Six of Cups? Okay, yeah, five of swords and nine of swords. I feel like this person will continue to be very conflicted, okay, with the five of swords and nine of swords. There could have also been a conflict that took place because of that seven of swords energy. What's affecting this person is the fact that they were dishonest with you and the fact that they have something they want to follow up with, whether it's an explanation, whether it's, uh, you know, maybe you found something out and you know just enough, but they want to explain the entire story to you. But they feel like you're you wouldn't you wouldn't be open to hearing their explanation. Maybe you feel like you know what you you know you know all that you need to know. Sorry guys, that's my neighbor's dog. Um, but with the uh, five of swords as well as the uh, nine of swords here, guys, like they're very stressed out. They're very worried because this is like a guilty conscience. This is someone who has something on their mind. They and and they are holding some, like, like something back, and they want to be honest. They want to be open. It doesn't matter if you already know the truth. They still want to have a conversation here. Okay. Um, so let's see here, guys. What does this person want to communicate to you? You didn't see my tears. Okay, so this person could feel like they were um, hurt by being dishonest with you. And maybe you feel like, you know, they, they're kind of in a victim mentality. Again, guys, I'm not choosing sides here. But I do feel like maybe there was more frustration on your end if you did figure this person was dishonest with you. And they feel like, yes, I did lie to you. But I am very stressed out about what I, what I did. You know, I am stressed out about my dishonesty. Anything else? I can't do this. Yeah, very stressed out, very conflicted. I miss hearing your voice and we do have love calls. So I feel like this person could be breaking the silence here, um, Libra, but you may not be as interested in hearing the explanation as they are to kind of, you know, verbalize it to you. And then it says, I c compare others to you. And that's that star card energy. The way that you make this person feel is very different from anyone else. Anything else? I don't want to let you go. Yeah, that's pretty obvious here because they're wanting to reconcile. They're wanting to speak to you. More than anything, I see someone who's like, can I just speak to you so I can explain my side? Or I know I was dishonest with you, but, you know, A, B, and C, this is why. Or like they have this urge to speak to you is what I'm picking up on. Okay, guys. So my wonderful Librans, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.